7th of January, 1915. Six young men gathered in Knox's Temperance Hotel in Monaghan, Ireland. With fervent faith, impassioned prayer, and surrendered lives, these young men had been praying for God to move again. They had this deep hunger for God and an expectancy that something extraordinary was going to happen. George felt compelled to stay in the UK to his home nations. And it must in that environment have felt like he was swimming against the tide, but it was to be a defining moment. The Elam story had begun. At that moment, Wendy White, who must have been close to him, shouted to him, don't worry, Philip, they can't kill the soul. If you have martyrs in your background, that shows a, a passion which is far greater than any other. God can do more through us together by his Holy Spirit than he could ever do through one uh, isolated hero of the faith who has every gift and achieves everything. We could plant hundreds of churches and see thousands of people get saved. But we are part of a movement that was much bigger than any one individual. And it's now our turn to live for the cause of Jesus Christ so that together we can make a mark on life in the here and now and, and change the tide that we're living in. that are opening that door and so we need to do it right we need to start this next hundred years as we want to see them go on 